Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through importing bathymetry files into ArcGIS. I'm also going to cover Python scripting and ArcGIS for, des for desktop. Uh, here's the data that we download in downloaded in the last tutorial. You can see that there's the latitude, longitude, and elevation. They are XYZ points. Um, now the file format for importing to ArcGIS is pretty strict. Uh, columns need to be labeled. Uh, there needs to be a latitude and longitude column. And there needs to be an ID and description column. Um, so for, for now, the ID column for me is just um, incrementing numbers. The description is all the same. Um, but there's latitude, longitude, and elevation. And now I say this is a CSV file. There are a few other file formats that ArcGIS will accept, uh, but CSV seems to, be, seems to be the one that works the best. Um, so go ahead and save that. And then open up um, ArcMap. So this is ArcMap. The first thing you should do with this software is to turn on the extensions. So go ahead and click on Customize at the top and click Extensions. And make sure that the extensions that we want to use are toggled on, such as the Maritime Bathymetry, the 3D Analyst, the Spatial Analyst. Make sure those ones are all turned on. You can also turn on the toolbars. Uh, go ahead and turn on Bathymetry now. Uh, first, let's import the raw data that we saved in the last tutorial. So go ahead and say file, click file, add data, add XY data. Um, and we can only upload data that's saved within this ArcGIS directory. It's just kind of a weird thing about the software. Um, so you have to do that beforehand. Go ahead and open it up. I saved it under this CSV file. Um, you can see that the X field and Y field auto-populated with the um, columns that I labeled in my Excel document. I'm going to go ahead and set elevation as the Z field. Um, and we can set the coordinate system here. I mentioned this before. Um, if you go down to World, WGS 1984 is the coordinate system that that site that we used returned. So go ahead and, and turn that and select that. Click OK. So this imported the raw data. Um, right now that you can just see that there are a whole bunch of points um, cor corresponding to latitude longitudes. The next thing we're going to do is we want to create a raster file. Uh, so a raster file is a matrix of, of cells, each of which contains information, in this case elevation, um, and it, it colors it too, so it, it, makes, it um, makes it useful to look at. Um, so in order to do this, we're going to use um, a, a Python script. So all of the Python scripts that I used are saved um, in the Google Drive, um, F18XPRIZE, under the Bathymetry folder, um, and ArcGIS, and then I, under Python scripts. Um, so the first script we're going to run is create raster. So go ahead and open that file and copy it. Um, now to open up the Python window um, and, and, and ArcMap, go ahead and click this icon here. And then you can uh, run Python scripts. So I'm going to paste that Python script that I copied before. And now there's a few things we have to change. First is the workspace. Um, and to find the workspace you're under, go ahead and just click New here. And you can copy um, the address here of the workspace. Um, and go ahead and paste that here, um, and you have to add in extra slashes. It's just kind of finicky stuff about the software. Um, and then for the um, input here, go ahead and input the uh, the data layer layer that we uh, that we created, and that auto populated. Um, and then this is the output, and it should be in the same um, directory as um, as this workspace. So I just say. Um, call that new out. Now the, these two, these three fields here are optional fields. Um, I'm just going to leave them blank for now. But if you go on Esri and look get, look up um, point to raster conversion, you can get more information about what each of those fields mean, um, kind of like just any API. Um, yeah, so once we run this, this should create the raster on our Sapienza CSV data, and it will also create a new layer.
So you can see that that created um, a raster file here. It created a new layer called new out here, as we specified. Um, and you can see that uh, there, there are different cells now that are, are colored different shades um, corresponding to different elevations. The next thing that I want to do is create a contour graph of this data. Go back into the Python script folder of the Google Drive and navigate until you find createContours.txt. Go ahead and copy the contents of that file and then come back to ArcMap. Go ahead and click this button again to bring up the Python scripting and paste the contents of that file. Now I already went through and changed the workspace address to the workspace I'm currently working with as I discussed early in the tutorial, but you're going to have to do that again. Once that script is ready, go ahead and run it. So after that runs, you can see that it added uh, contours to, to this graph, to this, to this raster data. Often, it's easier to view the data in Arc Scene instead of Arc Map, and it's actually really easy to copy data over from Arc Map over to Arc Scene. Um, to the left here, if you right click on Layers, you can click Copy. And then you can paste the layers in Arc Scene. 